what are you hearing from companies right now in terms of what their needs are? And maybe think about, you know, how that has changed before COVID and after. So, you know, going into COVID, um, the visit, the visits were much, much more similar. They had more similarities. Now, I think really the business, the, the needs really vary from business to business and the solutions are not one size fits all. Um, the, on, the only way to know is to ask. So the interaction with a variety of businesses, um, you know, it's just continual and, and it's with those partners we're working together um, to figure out what those needs are and identify um, potential solutions. Um, in my experience since COVID, uh, the platform for fact finding really needs to be as convenient um, and as efficient as possible for the businesses, um, just so that they're able to, to accommodate during this time of crisis. You know, and now that we have evolved and to a new, a new era, right? What resources have you now used to support your businesses during COVID? And there's so much information out there, Colin, and there's a lot of misinformation too and overwhelming for businesses. What did you do to um, kind of vet those resources, learn about those resources and kind of your own investigative reporting, if you will, to not only find those resources for businesses, but also to kind of keep your own repository of information? Sure. So um, as you know, Deshandra, this has been uh, very unprecedented times. Um, in the past 100 years, we've never lived through a pandemic. So I think, you know, this is extremely new for everybody. But what I will say is that um, since the pandemic has started, uh, I have been able to secure about $600,000 of grants for the city of Centerline uh, to work on projects to improve the city. Uh, I was also able to work with our local businesses here to help them fill out applications for various grants through Macomb County, through the state of Michigan, uh, which has totaled $140,000. Uh, so wow. we've, been very, we've been very busy here. Um, and of course, like you said, there's a lot of information. How do you keep up with it all? And I think the best answer for that is that you just do the best that you can, um, trying to spread information to all of our businesses. One of the things that I did to highlight our uh, local businesses when I first started was I started a new initiative called uh, Business of the Month. And basically the premise of that is that we would highlight one of our local businesses here in Centerline because we're a pretty small city, we're 1.7 square miles, but we have so many small businesses, so many mom and pop businesses that we wanna bring exposure to, we wanna bring attention to. So having the Business of the Month really allowed us to do that, to highlight our businesses in addition to that, I just hosted our inaugural business resource open house. And how that worked is basically we would have the city of Centerline, so myself, a representative from Macomb County, MEDC, uh, Michigan Manufacturing Technology Center, a U.S. Department of Labor, uh, Michigan Works, and our local community college, uh, as well as the Small Business Administration that would all come out and meet with our local employers if they had any employee issues, if they wanted to maybe take people to go get trained, if they wanted to start an apprenticeship program, if they wanted to learn more about any additional resource that the city has, um, any type of tax credit that we would have, or Macomb County tax credit that's available, uh, the state of Michigan, MEDC. So of course, given COVID, Unfortunately, it wasn't able to be as spectacular as I would have liked, but we still had a lot of information out and uh, those that were able to attend just a few in at a time were able to grab information and take it back to their business. And uh, I think it was impactful. And once we get past COVID, we'll be definitely be doing something like that again. Just from your perspective, what, how do you manage um, your relationships in a, and for long term. So we talked about trust and we talked about relationship building, but what are you, some of your biggest key words of advice, if you will, for those who are working in this um, field to really maintain the relationships across? So no matter where you go in your career as you're a BSP, you still have those relationships. Talk about how you've been able to do that across your 
uh, career? Sure. So I think the biggest thing that I could say and the biggest piece of advice that I would provide to anybody that is in workforce development or even in economic development is to um, have the ability to just simply reach out, uh, send an email, um, you know, but, but really care. I mean, really, really care about the person that you're connecting with, about the business, understand the mission of the business, um, and, and really take an active approach to reaching out to them. I mean, you know, people can tell when you're not genuine and you're not sincere, but really take a um, approach to better understand what their needs are. And when you do that, you're going to be able to, again, I hate to keep saying it, but cultivate that relationship. Because if you're, if you're reaching out to them, you're checking in with them, you know, just say a simple hello, you'll never understand how much that can impact them and how that'll be with you for a long time. So can you give an examples, any examples without breaking confidentiality, of course, of the BSP model uh, being applied during this time? So, you know, I think this model really applies to every interaction that I'm having with businesses these days. Um, as COVID has touched every industry, I find myself working with businesses that typically I don't work with. So establishing rapport is even more crucial, um, as is the fact finding piece and being able to ask the questions um, that get to what the issues are. Um, I, really, I think the most important piece is being able to provide um, solutions and information quickly. However, it's very common and okay um, to say, I don't know, but I'll get back to you with that information. Um, and just the key to that is following up and finding out which partner has that program um, and then getting back to the business with, with their information that they requested. Yeah. Is there anything before we close today that you would like to say um, to um, the person that is sitting down there in this, in this session that may have just started at Michigan Works or some other workforce development agency, you know, in the last month or two? Sometimes we have folks coming in, they're really, really new and fresh to this whole conversation. What is that one thing that you would want to share with them to help them get ready and feel comfortable in this new world that they have walked into. Um, let's say they don't even have a workforce background. They don't have economic development. They don't come from higher ed. What, are, what would you say to that person who is in this session as we close out today? I would say two things. I would say read a lot. Um, find out what your colleagues are reading. Find out what your boss is reading and read that. Uh, so you always kind of have an, a knowledge and understanding of what they're facing so that you can have a greater appreciation for the role that you play on your job. Um, I would say that was very key in my career was that I would understand what my boss was doing, uh, what, they, what their day looked like, and then that way I had a greater appreciation in terms of what my role was with the organization. I would also say take the initiative to really go out there and meet people. Um, you never get anywhere if people don't know you, and it's important to be able to go out and make those meaningful connections, build those relationships uh, with your businesses and also with your colleagues. You know, really take the time to, if you're a new um, workforce developer or even a new economic developer, you have a lot to learn in a very short amount of time. Uh, so take as much time as you can, um, pick as many brains as you can to understand really what the, the job is, understand what your objective is, and to make it your own. You know, we're all kind of learning as we go. So have fun and um, make, it your, make it your own and give it your all.